Hey guys, this is Viron from Seek of the Stars, and I am not back. <laughs> I am sort of back. This was supposed to be the September one? I actually should check before I start speaking, shouldn't I? But that's too late. Oh, this was supposed to be the October um, Flores series video. We are doing the Marigold. And I actually had this done at the start of November, but I was once again hit with the lack of the desire to actually edit the video. And I was trying to do a little bit of soul searching. Not a lot. I didn't go on any trips or anything. In fact, I just spent a lot of my time play playing Fate Grand Order or sleeping or working. I haven't really done anything particularly creative lately. So yes, I am your typical I'm your typical artist that <laughs> I don't I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but either way, I hope I get November done soon. I mean, it's already December. I know we just had a Christmas party for the office and all of that. So I know it's super late to say that I I hope I get November done. But I will get November done. It should be the next video. I might do this the December one next, and then we'll see what will happen to me next year, right? Anyway, um, <laughs> sidetracked. I, I did, as I did say, I went on a little bit of soul searching as to why I did not enjoy editing videos anymore, which is weird because I enjoyed it for a good year, two years, I guess. And I realized that's because I didn't really feel content with the product I was putting out, or the content, or the, the the output from the editing felt really half-assed. It was like really sped up, and it wasn't as fun to watch for me. And I, if it wasn't that fun to watch for me, I felt like it would be really fun to watch for anyone. Even though I do see people watching my videos, I feel like I felt like I need to up my game a little bit. So with my code, I haven't done that. I'm thinking about if I will up my game or how I'll, or if I do, how I'll go about it. So I feel like I need to slow down the video a little bit and sacrifice a lot of um, the process. So my original goal which with my videos was just to simply record, um, condense it into maybe max 15 minutes if it's just a drawing unless it's like a really long drawing that involves colored pencils like this one but i really didn't want or i wasn't committed to put in a lot of effort into it because like hey i'm just gonna record myself drawing and i'm pretty sure people really don't watch it or they, like, they just listen to it or have it in the background because that's how i watch art videos i just like have it in the background that i'm drawing or while I'm cleaning the room or something. But I realized watching other art YouTubers' videos that a lot of people actually do watch the actual video. So I felt that's why I wasn't really doing too well. Or that's why I wasn't really satisfied with my own work. Because I felt like it was very lackluster. So I'm thinking about that now. I can't promise that the style will change anytime soon. Again, I'm still just working with one camera right now and I don't really feel like like changing setups every time I want to have a new angle. So for now, you will have to make do with me zooming in and out of the picture. And <laughs> I actually still do like the top down view actually. And I I do have a tripod that can do a side view, but I'm not sure if that actually helps anything or if that's actually a better angle. Because with me I feel like a side angle somewhat distorts the perspective of the, of the drawing. But you can actually see more parts because my hand isn't covering things up, unlike the top down. But I like the top down because it's more true to perspective and I, you can actually see the material scattered around, I guess. Or no, you can do the good side too. Either way. <laughs> I'm I'm still thinking about that. As you can see, I haven't really thought about it properly. And we'll see. We'll see. I am not giving up on making videos, but I am 
just a little bit busy and a little bit less motivated than a couple of months ago. Uh, this is normal, as I mentioned in the video before this one, which should have been the Kuhulan Caster one, I think. If not, it's gonna be the other Flora series one. I can't remember, it's been a while. Aster, or Forget Me Not? Yeah, it should have been the Forget Me Not one. I still want to make videos. I just haven't been drawing, therefore there are no videos because there's nothing to record. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. And I... <sighs> I should leave a lot of this reflection for the New Year video, shouldn't I? <laughs> anyway, enough of my rambling. I will not promise that I will be back, but I do promise that I will not abandon this channel. I like drawing. I do like recording it. I just need to like find a good point like in my own branding and my own video editing style that I like that will make me enjoy video editing all the lot more and not just feel like I really half assed thrown together clips and we'll see what will happen. So let's actually jump into the video or what I'm actually doing in the video. So if you've been watching my channel, you would know that the Flora series is just me um, taking the themes of the flower for the month, supposedly, and making a really quick drawing out of it. Or no, it's not quick. It takes me like a, a day to finish or more even. But since I'm late, this is the Flora series for October, which is the Marigold. So the Marigold is supposed to represent winning race, protection, comfort, healing, and lovable. Now I guess you can see from my line art that I went with the very first theme, which is Winning Grace. Because I felt like, I think I mentioned this in Forget Me Not as well, that most flowers represent love and grace and um, very soft, sweet themes. But things like Winning Grace, like that's, that's, that's awesome, that's powerful, so <laughs> well, not that the other things aren't powerful, but it's like, it's different. It's not the common theme in flowers. So I did actually go with that theme really quickly. I actually didn't do a lot of sketching to get this idea out right away. It was just more of like getting the pose and the outfit down. But the main theme was pretty true to my head. I think the only issue I have with this particular piece is that um, the flowers don't really look like a marigold. Well, I tried to make it look like a marigold. Like, if it's just a line art, it looks like a marigold. But when I started coloring it in, I may have put too much reds and oranges on it when I was supposed to be going for more of a yellowish look to the flowers. And I can't say the color scheme's particularly, particularly great either. <laughs> um... Man. <laughs> like, I like the piece, it's just not my best. Uh, if you ask what my best was, I actually don't know which one is my best. I actually do like quite a lot of them. <laughs> and I need to look at my all of them together. And don't worry, in the December video, I will actually show all of them together as a sort of a card layout. But while it's incomplete, you will not see that. Because that's great to see, I guess. But hum, hum. Which is my favorite? Hmm. Honestly, I really like carnation. And sweet pea. And honestly, glad jewel. This looks really cool as well. But my favorite would have to be... Sweet pea, I guess, because it's like very, very sweet and tragic. If you don't know, just like check my channels, it's gonna be there somewhere. I actually have a playlist for this, I think. It's the one for January, February, March, April. <laughs> wow, great, amazing, so smart. <laughs> Man, I wish I drew a lot more this year, but really. Who am I kidding?
but actually instead of leaving this as a white space let's talk a, let's talk a little bit in the comments even though no one really comments but <laughs> um let's like tell me what you guys do when you haven't really drawn in a long time or is it easy for you to just like jump back into it and like hey i'm gonna draw again and like you start producing like, a million works or do you need a lot of psyching up before you get to actually do anything and i know like the guilt's pretty much universal so i won't ask about that but what are some tips and tricks that you do to like get yourself back into that artistic mood uh, yeah because for me um i'm the type that sort of blazes out for such a for a quick period of time so like you saw in january like the season december january february march april may <laughs> half of the year i guess i'm like really productive and so much creative energy and videos left and right woo so much ideas and then somewhere around after may towards the burn months i'm i like sort of slowly fizzle out and this has been a recurring thing for me throughout my entire life basically um usually i'd stop drawing for half a year sometimes like that was my worst i didn't draw for half a year and it felt bad but i but i'm also the type that sort of with a really quick snap i'm drawing again and i can't hold it all in so i keep on drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing but i also fizzle out really quickly so i'm that ki i'm that kind of person so right now I am still a little bit in that fizzled out stage. Okay, fine. Let's let's be honest. I actually get distracted a lot by games as well. So sometimes when I'm playing a game, like Fate Grand Order or God Eater or who knows Love Live, I guess <laughs> I tend to focus a lot on that, and I find myself just spending my weekends just playing sometimes. But on the other hand. Oh man, I don't know. What's my just? There's no justification, and that's fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, where was I going with this? I don't. Nah, I wasn't going anywhere. I just wanted to babble. Really, it's been a while since I talked to a phone. I'm not gonna say camera or mic because this is just the three my phone. My chair is so squeaky. You should shut up this chair but but yeah i guess i want to say is that it's fine oh <laughs> enough babbling Veron, come on please get yourself together i'm actually doing a little bit something special with marigold i've been wanting to do this with my other pieces as well but i didn't really find the chance to incorporate it in the pieces but i'm actually using some gold um what do you call this it's gold ink for writing calligraphy stuff <laughs> i guess and i got this last december like last year's christmas as part of my christmas gift and i haven't really been practicing my calligraphy skills but the gold paint is really cool and i really wanted to incorporate it into my art it looks super super nice in light uh it doesn't work as well when it's scanned since the light is like like the source is weird and all of that so it's not as awesome when it's scanned but the real thing is like mm, so good i can see why people get so obsessed with this so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and me just rambling for a good 15 minutes and a half i hope you guys enjoyed um have a great holiday season i'll see you in the next video really soon